Hello, this is Brujo underscore Anthony87. I am your host, Anthony Casillas, coming to you live from my bedroom in East Los Angeles, California, in the San Gabriel Valley. And if you are new to my YouTube channel, um, welcome. I am a Brujo. I practice Brujeria for about 20 some years. And I am a almost a year devotee of Santisima Muerte. <sighs> Smoker of the cannabis <laughs> for sacred use and for recreational. Anywho. And my tarot cards where did they go <laughs> that would be a good thing to have on hand you know ah. <laughs> make sure to have your tarot cards on hand if you need any tarot <laughs> yes and I am also a tarot card reader um, I work from home and I give spiritual consultations and uh, whatnot. Uh, yes. So, um, I'm gonna do a reading for all 12 signs of the zodiac uh, for this week coming up. I'm gonna try to make this uh, a regular thing to do to make some videos weekly. I'm monthly too, so uh, maybe every Saturday night um, I'll do Saturday night for the forecast for the whole week. So without further ado, let's get this going. It's my um, smoke buddy. <laughs> say about me too. <laughs> okay. Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. Truth and tell me no lies. In the name of the Father, name of the Son, name of the Holy Spirit. Okay, 
So again, like last video, I'm just going to pull out a card for each of the 12 uh, zodiac signs. So I'm going to start with the very first one and always the first one, Aries. So Aries, what is the message for you? Um, next week is a forecast of for you, Aries, is to um, <clears throat> make sure of false friends, uh, any deception or betrayal. Or uh, just prepare for a week of long stress and lots of oppression and gloominess ahead of you. Um, can represent physical pain too. So just keep an eye on yourself and be careful where you're going. And be careful who you tell intimate secrets of. Okay? Um, I imagine goal working that I could probably do. That I could probably recommend. Um... Hmm. Fury wall of protection work. Um, you could also, um, I would do uh, the spell with the uh, cow tongue to stop gossip, um, so that betrayal won't happen, or to take out the evil eye. Uh, kind of working, which you could do with a white candle, um, and you could get whole cloves and a needle. And what you're going to do is you're going to cleanse yourself with the candle and cleanse yourself with the uh, clove buds. Um, I would do about nine each. Nine would be a good number to use for uh, taking out the evil eye. And what you're going to do is you're going to pass all 12 cloves in your hand over the main energy parts. Um, I have a video on how to do an egg limpia. And in that, I talk about centers that are important to catch are your forehead, your third eye, the crown of your head on top, um, the nape of your neck, um, across the shoulder blades from left to right, a big cross in the middle of your back, if you can reach back there, over your heart chakra, um, all the way down to your arms and to the centers of your palm of your hands. Um, I like to get these areas too, which is, I guess, would be the solar plexus and the, um, the navel chakra right over here, the sacral chakra, I guess. And, um, you could get down here too. This is a person, have them do it instead of just doing it yourself because that could be an awkward situation. Um, I like to get behind the knees and on the palms, uh, on the soles of the feet. Pass it down at least like three times uh, while you're saying a corredo prayer. And then um, one by one, each clove you're gonna burn into the fire. And uh, what you're gonna be hearing for are some good, good crackling and popping sounds are good. Then once you stop hearing them, um, that's when it's a sign that it's uh, going to uh, sorry, I got a message on uh, Facebook right now. Um, that's when you know you've been uh, kind of cured off in the evil eye. With the tongue spell, is uh, pretty much you're getting a uh, you're gonna get a, tow, a cow tongue from like your butcher or any marquedo or they sell to uh, Mexican markets and Mexican people. Um, and a uh, I haven't worked the spell, but basically you're going to use that spell. You're going to cut into a, a slit inside the tongue. And you're going to write down the name of the people who you suspect of talking gossip about you. Or just talking shit. And you're going to write down their name. And then uh, in the tongue, you're going to put sour puckering stuff like lemons, um, citric acid, alum, um... Uh, anything puckering and then you could also add spice hot spices to like cayenne pepper uh black pepper you could add in um perfect add would be black salt would be uh, good to add to that too anything salt salty spicy and souring um it's going to be the most the themes of this you want to include ingredients like that that way you get them to pucker that and you get a red or black ribbon and then you're going to tie it you're going to tie knots into it and then you're going to also put in some safety pins because you want to shut their tongues up and you want to bind them 
Um, and then you're gonna burn black or red candles. Um, I would probably do the black candles if you get a hold of them. If you can't get a hold of them, white, if anything, or red. Um, and that will kind of burn it through the du duration. Um, probably for nine days, you could do a novena to this, to Santa Muerte. And that will be it. All right. So um, we got the next sign is Taurus. Taurus um, is going into a lot of heads of action um, where um, you're going to be half a little bit more defenseful, get things moving and force, uh, get um, things forced out. Um, it looks like there's a lot of things coming up for you next week, dear Taurus. So um, prepare, hold the reins, watch carefully where you're going and um, get what you want. <laughs> okay so the next uh sign after taurus is going to be gemini gemini you're going to be very busy looks like there's like a long busy week ahead of you um where you're getting a lot of things done getting a lot of jobs done either around the home or around work um it's very busy with you so um keep it going um I would work with the stone carnelian because it is a stone of um, um, bursts of energy and you're going to need a lot of that energy, dear uh, Gemini. So work with the stone carnelian. It's a red stone. Um, okay, e it's easily obtainable at um, any new age shops and whatnot or even through Amazon. Um, you could buy them in bracelet form. Um, and that's the stone to help you really get through the day to make sure you get things that you want to get done finished. Okay. And then you can also burn, bring green candles or gold or um, yellow gold or orange candles would do very good for um, attracting prosperity or even green um, to help attract the prosperity. Uh, add the carnelian by the stone if you wish or um you could um other stones you could uh, use citrine you could use um fool's gold you could use malachite um other stones lodestones um which is basically a big magnet um magnets fed with um steel dust or iron um iron dust magnetic sand it's also called another popular name and you get to feed this stone um, and paste like any kind of dollar bill underneath it um, in like in a bowl or some type and you're gonna feed this stone and then you're gonna feed the magnets um, I think like if that um, I feed you this magnetic sand so shall you feed me with more money and prosperity do this about weekly or every time that you get paid put another dollar bill underneath it and let it stop any attraction spell for you uh three four okay so we are now upon the sign of cancer cancer it seems like there's going to be a new celebration within your family or your love life or even getting together with um uh relatives of yours um it's like a gathering a gathering of either loved ones um either family or non-related family celebration of some kind is um, headed towards your way so um, it could go on smoothly um, you could wear a piece of jewelry called a uh, peacock or to um, really have some fun times to uh, because peacocks are fun to look at <laughs> and, um, and if this is a, a gathering about yourself then wear that peacock or to draw that um, Draw that energy to yourself, where it's like eyes on me kind of thing. <laughs> so there you go, dear Cancers. Leos. Let's see. Let's see, we got Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo. Okay, so Leos are about, uh, your theme for the week, Leo, is all about getting healing and getting better and just try to balance everything that is 
in, uh, within you eternally, balancing out the emotions and the mental thoughts that you have going on. Um, so take the time, get outside, take a nice walk or hike where you see a bunch of nature around you. Um, nature, I think, is going to be a really great stress relief for you, dear uh, Leos. Um, you need that sunlight. You need to get that fresh air and get that raw dirt and earth underneath you um, pulsating throughout your whole body. You just need that accelerance to burn off that stress and be able to heal. Nature, I believe, is very healing when you go out alone or you know, with, with loved ones, you know, um, I have a dear friend who's a Leo and, uh, um, a couple of friends who are dear Leos and one of them is, um, he's just awesome. Um, we're watching Usi. Hi. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to pull up for the next sign. This one's the sign for, uh, Virgos. Virgo, the thing for you next week is going to uh, be um, obstacles and challenges ahead of you. Um, lots of obstacles. Um, when I always see this card, it's always High John the Conqueror route that speaks to me. Um, blockbuster candles, purple candles, red candles, um, or white candles as well. Um, this with... Uh, you could put, I would say, get some rosemary or some bay leaves and or you could even use garlic powder to help um, break through some obstacles um, and stress, especially when it comes to looking for work or um, obstacles in every other other day situations you're going to be dealing with next week. So recommend that for you, dear Virgos. And with Libra, it's all about getting your creative outlet for the Queen of Wands. Um, Libras, uh, you really need to really express what you are uh, feeling lately. Um, because the, the paintbrush and gardening outside is really going to help you channel out some energies that have been you've been carrying around and they're just no longer serving you. So get creative, get dirty, and play. <laughs> you need your release your inner child. Okay, and dear uh, Scorpios, Scorpio, um, you're going to be um, saving the money, uh, saving, uh, um, saving your pennies, and um, trying to make your finances more stable by not overspending as much. So that is with the four of coins over here, dear Scorpios. Um, one working you can do to ensure this is really easy, actually. Um, you could get to yourself some four rusty iron nails. Just look around your house. I'm pretty sure you're going to find some um, old rusty nails of some kind. Um, if not, then you just... I find it better with rusty nails, but you don't have to. You just can buy so regular um, nails if they're new from the hardware store. That's fine. Um, purchase yourself some, uh, get yourself some basil essential oil, or you can use orange oil as, as well. Orange oil is really good at drawing your prosperity. Um, cinnamon oil is really good too, if you could get it in essential oil form. Um, or if you buy some money drawing oil, or if you want to try my Santa Muerte oil, because why not? Why don't you want to try it? <laughs> In fact, let me get her out. So right here, I have some of my own blend, uh, special blend of um, Santa Muerte oil. It has a lot of stuff in it, as you can see. Um, you can see there's some rosemary, there's some rose petals, um, and there's other stuff in here. <laughs> I can't get out the blend, but, um, it's a very, um, fluid-like mixture, and, um, it does contain basil in it, 
So this one's, uh, I say is like a, almost like a Van Van oil, if I had to say. So it's like a Van Van oil, but there's different undertones to it too. <sighs> anyway, you could anoint all oil, all the nails, get four of them. You just need four. Um, if you want to do the window sills and the, each doorway of your home, you can. But if you can't, if you just could get four nails to put around your property, that's fine too. And what you're going to do is, um, you're going to um, ask Santa Marta to, um, uh, to bless, this, uh, bless the nails and dry them. Um, and, um, sorry, I can't even talk right now. Sorry. <laughs> Um, you're going to ask her to bless the nails with prosperity so that um, money doesn't run out too fast leaving your home and leaving your hands so fast. You want it to build up and um, slowly, you want it to uh, build up without it leaving your hands too quickly. So that's my tip for you, dear Scorpios. Sagittarius. Okay, the theme for you next week is um, uh, lending out a hand to a friend who um, needs uh, some advice or some help. Uh, not If not some friend, maybe somebody you know um, needs a little, um, a little bit of your hand out there to be reached out um, to hear, you know, uh, uh, to talk. Uh, somebody really, really needs to talk to you, so... Um, Keep an eye for that. Keep an eye for dreams too. Uh, dreams are probably going to be a little bit more rampant uh, to you, dear Sagittarius's. So work with an element of water. Um, just have it by your bedside um, and ask it to protect you uh, while you're asleep. And that way um, it catches any um, nightmares or, um, uh, you know, the, that you're protected while you're asleep. And if it has bubbles, throw it down the toilet and repeat as often as you need. Okay, so next sign is going to be uh, Capricorn. Capricorn is about um, either you or someone else that you may know uh, is, is going to be taking away, uh, take a uh, running, running off with um, a good opportunity. So this could be yourself or this could be actually somebody else. So uh, really observe um, and what is going on in your life. If you notice someone being a little shady at work that just seems wants to be in a hurry um, with a lot of things uh, within their possessions. So keep an eye on that. Or if this is you in a situation where you have to take what you can get, then by all means do it. Just make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. Okay, and then, let's see, we have Aquarius. So Aquarius um, is, you're leaving old situations behind in the past um, that you're just tired of um, bickering or you're fighting or you're just dealing with. Um, you're letting it go, you've given up at this point and you're ready to do your disappearing act. Um, so if, you know any Aquariuses that are mentally checked out, it's probably that way too because their mind is not going to hang on to old situations anymore. They're just going to let it go. So, that's for you Aquarius. And uh, for Pisces. Pisces, next week it's all about moving forward and thrusting and getting back, getting things done and making a move for a good change. Going with the force and um, feeling more better with the home. Um, lots of good luck is coming and blessing on you next week, dear Pisces. Um, so I will leave it at that. And that is all I have to say. That's my forecast for this week, uh, for next week. I'm your host, Brujo underscore Anthony87. <laughs> And uh, you can find me on social media. You can find me on Facebook, Brujo underscore Anthony87. You can also find me under the same name with uh, Instagram and TikTok. Um, 
Take care, be safe, be kind to yourself, and be kind towards each other. Bye-bye. I love you all.